The Bank of Jamaica, BOJ, will soon be able to issue central bank digital currency, CBDC, as legal tender locally. The BOJ has now been given the authority following the Senate's nod to the passage of the Bank of Jamaica Amendment Act 2022 inside Gordon House on Friday. More in this report. The bill was passed in the House of Representatives on May 24. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade and Leader of Government Business in the Upper House, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, who piloted the bill, says, consequent on the legislation's passage, the way has been paved for the BOJ to proceed with the national rollout of the CBDC, popularly called JAMDEX. So the scheme of this bill is largely based around deleting and replacing references to quote-unquote notes and coins in the Bank of Jamaica Act, with the words notes, coins, and central bank digital currency, with a view to expanding the reference, thereby empowering the Bank of Jamaica as the sole authority to issue CBDC and to recognize CBDC as legal tender. The bill also includes new provisions to address matters such as privacy and cybersecurity as related to this digital form of the country's fiat currency. She says implementation is expected to significantly reduce traditional challenges associated with many Jamaicans not having a bank account. Fundamentally, no bank account required. What you now will have is a wallet. So you will get a CBDC wallet issued by banks or authorized payment service providers with simpler, customer-friendly processes. She also notes the security advantage. However you carry your cash, if anyone takes it from you, it's gone. But if you carry the CBDC in your mobile wallet, on your phone, and your phone is stolen or damaged, the money is not lost because it actually is applied to an account that's held by and backed by the BOJ. So it's almost as if you, you have the bank account with you Almost, you have always have immediate access to your bank account without having to go to the bank. Senator Johnson Smith says the CBDC will also allow businesses to engage in more efficient cash management. Following contributions by several members on both sides of the aisle, the bill was passed unanimously without amendment.